hair so long it be tickling my ass crack. <laughs> Welcome to my channel and this video is going to be an unboxing of all the stuff I ordered. I actually have more packages on the way but whatever I can do that in another video so let's get started with this video. So first and foremost I'm so excited I got these Chanel sneakers I really wanted them. Um, I have a personal shopper at Saks in Atlanta from when I lived in Atlanta. His name on Instagram is Fly No Parachute. I'll tag him in the details box below, but he always posts like the new stuff on his story. I actually should unfollow him because, yeah, it, it fuels my shopping habit. Yeah, so these are the sneakers. Okay, so I kind of already opened them because I tried them on and stuff. This is the box, the wrapping paper, the dust bags for each shoe. And it has like the stuffing in it that goes in the shoe. But like I said, I tried them on. And these are the sneakers. I love them so much. They are so cute. So they're silver, white, and black. These are the bottoms. So about these sneakers, okay. So I tried them on and I wore them to the airport. Uh, once when I was going to Philly for Thanksgiving with like my sweatsuit, they are very comfortable um, This like material is really really soft a part of me feels like my feet looks a little long in these like look how long these are these are a I think these are a 30. Yep. These are a 37 and a half 37 and a half Okay, so they're not really wide. I feel like if you have a wide foot, you could probably get into it because of this like material. It's not like so firm. It's like really soft. Um, but yeah, I love these sneakers. I don't know the exact name. Actually, it's probably on this. Uh, I'm not sure the exact name of them. Um, I think they're just come up as Chanel track sneakers. But I will say they were kind of expensive. They came up to, with tax, tax was $121. They came up to $1,396. However, I will say, that sounds like a lot of money, which it is. But I would only spend that type of money on designer sneakers that aren't trendy. Like Chanel, it doesn't matter what style, it doesn't matter what color. You can have those for the rest of your life. Like, Chanel is not going out of style. Whereas, like, these little brands like Balenciaga or, like, um, Yeezys and stuff like that. Yeah, I have one pair of Yeezys, but they were not $1,000. Like, I just feel like if you're going to buy a sneaker or a piece that's, like, super expensive, buy a timeless piece that's not going to go out of style because Chanel never goes out of style. This is the third, this is the third pair of Chanel sneakers I have, but, like, of course they come out with new style, new color waves, but like honestly in 10 years from now I can put on a Chanel sneaker and like you know if you keep your stuff up to par, it's Chanel, like come on now. If your stuff looks nice, um, it's Chanel, that's timeless, it's just like a Chanel classic bag, it's never going out of style. So yeah, so that was my Chanel sneakers, let's see what else I got. I have this box of stuff from that site. Micah's, on my try on haul, when I said the random stuff I bought, I listed this store and I'll put the website below, whatever. Yeah, this is something else. But um, I only got, only got this stuff from this store because remember in my try on haul, I said I tried on that, uh, that sweater material cardigan in the skirt. And I like the skirt, but I said the cardigan was so ugly. I tried to request for a return, like to send it back to them and get my money back. But they wasn't going for it. So they kind of told me like, oh, they'll give me, unless the item is damaged, they'll give me like a credit worth the amount that I spent on the sweater. So I just gave the sweater to my friend who actually liked it. Um, and it looks good on her. And I ordered some more stuff. So... 
first, I got this dress, and it's, ooh, this feels good. It's really soft. So it's really soft. It feels like a warm sweater. And it's just a nude dress, and it buttons down. Like, it buttons to the side. So you can, like, do every other button, and it gives you, like, that, like, exposed effect. You can wear it buttoned down. But I'm loving, like, the cardigan dresses that, like, button down or whatever. The other one in my other video that was too big, instead of getting it tailored, I just gave it to my sister. So, yeah, I got this little button-down dress. It's short. It's beige. And I actually got it to wear with my beige and cream. It's the Boulder Boots. So, this is one thing. And I'll link with everything is called below in case y'all like it. This is a shirt. This is another beige little shirt. This is supposed to be a sweater. So, some of them times, y'all, those Asian sites be fooling y'all. This, I like this because in the picture, it gave off like that thick sweater material with like this turtleneck collar, like this little mock neck turtleneck collar with no sleeves. But this is like really thin. Um, I mean, it's still a simple little thin shirt, but yeah, this wasn't what I expected. I was ordering a sweater. So I also got this to go with my um, my cream and beige boots because I felt like I didn't have enough stuff to go with those boots. And I love those boots. Um, so mm, I'll see how this looks when I try it on and if I like it. And this is something else from the same site. Ooh, this is a silk top. Oh, it's upside down. This is a silk V cut top and it ties in the back and it's like cropped, but then it has like these flare like kimono um, sleeves. This is really cute. I got this because I had this silk skirt from Topshop that like fits low waist and it makes me look really curvy and it flares off at the bottom. And I was like, ooh, this would be cute with a silk top. So. I'll probably wear both of them together. So this is super cute. I like this. And it feels like it's silk, but it feels thick. It's not like they doubled the material. Okay, so next we have, I got some weave extensions some bundles from Kendra's Boutique. This is my first time ordering from Kendra's Boutique, but everybody says how good her hair is or whatever. So I wanted to try it because I had ordered some hair, my, some long weave from this company um, not too long ago. Y'all, the hair was so trash. I ordered 28 inches, and when I took it to uh, my stylist, he literally had to cut it up here because it was so thin at the bottom. Like, even him adding more and more hair, it was so thin. So I wasted my money with that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna invest in some good bundles. Um, so I tried Kendra's Boutique. And on the front it says, I'm a hair Barbie. It comes with a silk bag, which I like because I can keep the bundles in it. So. One. Woo. I got three 28. So here's one. Oh, it feels good. It's Brazilian. I like how it ends. It's already kind of like trimmed. Instead of it like straggly look. Oh, this is nice. This feels good. <laughs> All right. So this is one bundle. 28. Here are two more bundles. So this hair was like kind of expensive, but everybody, like I said, that has this hair, um, they say that it's really good hair and it, well, my hairstylist told me that it lasts you like a year or more. So I feel like the investment is kind of worth it. Like if I'm going to be getting hair, 
I want good hair that I can keep re-wearing over and over again versus like paying, being cheap. What? GG, scratch me. Being cheap and paying for uh, hair that is not gonna last and it's trash and I have to replace it. It's gonna cost me the same price. So I decided to get this. I got I got it with her little Black Friday so um, I think it was like three bundles for like 400 something. I'll include the price and stuff in my uh, description box. And then with this extra length, I think it was a little bit more, but I'll include the price and the details in my description box. But this is not an ad, obviously. I'm not that big enough to do ads, but this feels really good, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like my Filipino friend here, <laughs> she has long, thick hair, and it literally feels just like this, but this is Brazilian hair. And this is the third bundle. Oh, and she has on her website, like if you want like lighter bundles or darker bundles, put it in the description box when you're checking out. So y'all know my hair is like sandy brown. So I have to bleach the bundles and then I, I get it to like a chocolate brown and then I put a green shampoo on it to make it like that ashy brown. So in the description box when I was um, ordering it, I requested for the lightest natural bundles that she can give me. So that's why some of these are like, this one looks a little darker, but these are like light brown. That way I'm just not as processing it. I'm not processing it as much as I would be like darker bundles. And it's natural hair, so it should lift easily. But yeah, to get my hair this ash brown color, like my weaves, I have to either buy 613 and put an ash brown dye on it, which I don't really like that because 613 isn't the best quality of hair. Or I have to buy like natural brownish black bundles and I have to bleach it so it's like a, like a chocolate brown, but sometimes it has like red undertones just from like lifting it. And then I get a green shampoo or a green conditioner, a green color deposit. I actually get it from Ulta and a green turns all of like the reddish or any color strands that's not brown. It turns it like that ashy color and then I get ash brown long weave. So yeah, these are my bundles. I'm so excited to wear this. Yes! Look, Cardi B say, hair is so long, it be tickling my ass crack. <laughs> okay, so next, I got this box. And, oh, this is from Saks. So, I think these are my Ugg slippers I got. So, Amex had like a, a promotion going on where it's like, you get annually $100 credit at Saks. So I was like, hmm, what can I buy at Saks? That's not too much of my money, but like right over $100. I was gonna get a Skims um, robe, but when I was at the Four Seasons, um, they end up letting me keep the robe and it's so soft and it's so thick. So I didn't get a Skims robe. I was gonna get a Skims or a Ugg robe. So I didn't end up getting that because now I have the Four Seasons robe. So I end up getting a pair of Ugg slippers. I really like how <sighs> Sex Fifth Avenue. I really like how I've been seeing the girlies on TikTok wearing like um, the skims long dresses with like the bunched up socks or they're usually uh, wearing like leg warmers or socks. I have like some cream socks that are uh, long. She wants attention. Um, with the Ugg slippers, I think that look is really cute so I was like, hmm, I got a $100 credit for $30 of my own money. Why not get some Uggs? So, these are, this is the box. And I'm sure everybody's had Uggs before. But, these are the Uggs I got. Ooh, these are really cute. So they're like that gray sweater material and then you have the sheepskin. Oh, yeah. Real fur from lamb. Whatever. Yeah, it has the, the sheepskin or lambskin, whatever. Ooh, these are comfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna wear these with like some leg warmers or some cream socks bunched up with my Skims dress. And then actually I wanna order some more Skims dresses because 
I'm not gonna lie, I really, really like that dress. It's super comfortable, it's super fitting, and it's just cute. And it's, it gives a cute, chill look, but like still a big deal because it shows all your curves. So, these are the Uggs I got. Okay, so next we have, y'all I order stuff from Amazon like every week. Amazon is such an addiction. So I have two Amazon packages. Let's see what I got. I be forgetting sometimes like what I be ordering because I'm I'm always ordering something. I don't know why I'm always finding something to order, something new. It's an addiction. Okay. Okay, so this box came with oh two things. Okay, so I have this camera thing. Heavy duty suction cup camera mount. Oh, so this is for my, um, I'm gonna use this for like when I'm in a car because I'm always vlogging in a car. Or like if I'm in front of the mirror in the bathroom, I can suction this to the mirror and mount my camera on it. So yeah, I'm trying to take YouTube more serious, y'all. So um, I gotta step my cookies up. So I got this. Okay, good, I'm happy that came. And then let's see. In this box, it's so like comfortable. Riri is. I'm at Riri's house, by the way, y'all. Riri is holding Gigi like a newborn baby. And <laughs> <laughs> Gigi is loving it. She loves it all the attention. Okay. Oh, this is. Um, I wanted a new toilet bowl cleaner because. I feel like I've had mine for forever and that's kind of dirty. So, um, this is a cute toilet bowl cleaner that I got. And it goes into this cute, yeah. Oh, I gotta put this on it, okay. So yeah, this is my new toilet bowl cleaner. And it goes into here. Yeah, so this is my toilet bowl cleaner. All right, let's see what's in this other Amazon package. I probably should have just opened it where it says adhesive, but whatever. So, ah, this is like a tripod that I can walk with and hold my camera for y'all. And um, I already have a tripod, but my tripod has like the phone thing on it. Like it, it's for your phone. And um, I've been recording with my camera lately because it just looks way more clear. So this one is specifically for my camera. And I'll link what camera I have and I'll link all these products that I'm opening. And last we have this last box. Ooh, this stuff is heavy. Oh, I thought this was the last box. I got another package from Amazon. I told y'all I don't even be remembering what I ordered. So this is not last, this is second to last. Okay, so next we have, I already opened this. Y'all, I got my cookbooks from John Nice. Kitchen Envy. Her recipes on TikTok be looking so good and on Instagram. So I got volume one and volume two. My sister and my cousin has volume one and I've always been asking them uh, like how they like it. They tried some recipes, they said it was good. So I was like, you know what? Let me order volume one and volume two because when I do cook, I be cooking the same things over and over again and I'm always looking for new things to cook. You ever like be like, oh, I want something different. Like I'm tired of eating the same things. Yeah, I think that's definitely where cookbooks come in. Um, and I've tried her peach cobbler recipe before and it was really good for Thanksgiving and everybody liked it. So I was like, you know what? Why not order her cookbook? Cause I know how to cook, but it's a lot of things that I've never cooked in. You know, when you cook, you want your food to be good. Even if you don't follow the cookbook recipes to a T, like if you follow the basic instructions, you can season it to your perfection 
into your liking and change it up a little bit. But um, to get that base taste, because nobody wants to put all the energy into cooking a whole meal and it's a new meal and it turns out nasty. So yeah, I am officially a doe. I was really excited about getting these cookbooks. Kitchen Envy. Okay, so now to my last package. My last Amazon package. Oh, it's my camera bag. I got a camera bag because since I've been vlogging more for Vlogmas, I felt like I'm just bare, bare necking my camera around and I even dropped it once. Nothing happened, thank God, but um, yeah, I need to get a little bit more official. Like I said, step my cookies up. So I ordered a camera bag and of course I had to get pink because I'm childish, but um, yeah, it is cute. So I'll have my camera in here, my camera lens, my camera charger. Oh, it has a it has a little strap on it. My camera charger. Um, now I can have my new little tripod in there. My uh, my camera holder that suctions to the mirror. I can just be organized and have all my little camera stuff in here. And it looks small, but it expands pretty big. It's like a soft cloth material in the inside. It has a zipper pocket right here, pocket right here, pocket in the back, pocket on this side, hooks for the strap. And if it was on Amazon, I'm sure I didn't pay much for it. And oh, look, another, um, oh, it has like soft padding on the inside. I guess like in case you drop the bag or something. Oh, okay, I like this. All right, so that's it. Those are all the things I ordered. Thank you guys for watching. And if you're new here, make sure you click like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys for another Vlogmas video.